Leo, welcome back to Joy and Knows. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, just go on the page and click join. We're gonna say a quick prayer and then we're gonna jump into it. So Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Leo on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected, amen. It is six on the dot, I believe, and today is September 18th of 2023. It's actually 6.01 now. I hope you guys are doing well. So I had no intention of doing your reading today. I was supposed to do Virgo, but let me tell you the wild events that happened after I just finished the Libra reading. So I feel like your reading is a continuation of the Libra reading. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. Some of you, Libra season may be very significant for your energy, so you may want to just check them out. But I'm going to be like putting some tail ends on some information that I started there. So in order for you to fully grasp that I would definitely go watch the Libra reading. I haven't gotten to watch the playback yet and let me tell you why. So <laughs> I finished the Libra reading and um, I was like, okay, let me go walk my dog really quick because I just want to like stay in machine mode, you know? So I'm like sending a text and I close the door out of impulse, I lock it. And as soon as I realize I don't have my keys, the door shuts, boom, door's locked. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I don't panic, I don't panic. I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna continue my walk. But by the time I get back to this door, I'm gonna have it figured out, you know, like in the next 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna figure this out but i was just like what would the odds be if like i'm locked out with yoshi and like there's some random dogs here some shit like that like in that same moment but i'm not even gonna think about that let me just continue so i hit up my realtor she's on the east coast but she puts me in contact with a way to get in and by the time i got back to my door i got in within three seconds so thank you god for that anyway I was telling Libra how this twin energy is coming back around. 222, I just saw there. You guys. <laughs> One, I was telling them how somebody sent me um, my name on a license plate earlier. That's what made me say it because I met this girl named Joya a couple months ago, I think. And I also, in those readings, mentioned that Yoshi also had twins, right? So tell me why, like, after I got back in, everything was fine. Um, my friend stops by really quick because I was like, can you pick up my dog's food for me really quickly? Because I just have a lot going on. I'll Apple pay you, whatever. He's like, oh, there's these big ass dogs outside. I thought they were Yoshi. Tell me why those dogs are outside again, but not in the car. Like, literally, like, right just down the way. So the twin energy continues. Um, I feel like we're getting down to the wire. The 26th is going to be a very important day. It's been streaming throughout everybody's reading here. So yeah, I just thought that was so interesting. Um, so from there, let's continue. So first things first, your readings, 824-2021, that reading and the Pirates reading is going to be significant for you tomorrow also go in your camera roll something about march 3rd could be coming back around coming full circle yeah some of you may run into someone at a party i'm seeing like somebody's energy come full circle also set a timer for 11 hours and 12 minutes i was hearing tomorrow whatever day you see this but right now it lands on the 19th i'm hearing like vietnamese i was hearing what the fuck like f-u-t and i don't need anything by that it's an angela johnson skit i was hearing her voice so some of you could be vietnamese i don't know what's going on but i feel like Maybe you're realizing something, you're getting some information, something crazy might happen. Just pay attention to tomorrow, okay? Um, moving forward, I also feel like something's gonna be bittersweet. For some of you, you may run into a um, Capricorn. I was hearing at 7.45 p.m. They may have something to tell you. Here, the storyteller. And then I see you like the dreamer. I feel like this person's telling you like this deep story. 
and I see that's like you kind of going off in your own mind like listening to whatever they have to tell you here but pay attention to whatever they tell you because I feel like they're going to let you in on some information that you need or that may be of use to you maybe something that you didn't previously know maybe it could be something that they've been keeping within themselves I'm looking at this camel here so they've been reserving their emotions but just look out 7 45 p.m a capricorn um i see you running into this person i'm hearing funny seeing you here uh so moving forward this could have been an old co-worker of yours for some of you this could be somebody that you don't get along with there could be a healing coming to this dynamic um for some of you, this could be something that turns into marriage. I was hearing the word Elden, and when I looked it up, it's like to grow old. Or maybe that doesn't have to be the case. It could be like time has passed, people have matured, 555 there. So, you know, I feel like that's going to be a very helpful conversation. Yeah, the swan seeing eye to eye. Also, I feel like you see how they're wearing mirror necklaces. I see an opportunity for two people to like let the other in on like what's going on. Like this is my perspective, how I see things, like my mirror. This is your perspective, how you see things, your mirror, you know. So something like that. Look out for an opportunity for reconciliation. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn, like I said. Okay, moving forward, I was hearing this is easy, yes, or something's an easy yes. For some of you, you're gonna find like a perfect car song. I'm seeing like, it's like noon, I see you just cruising to this song, you may have it on repeat. I'm also hearing the circle of life. Barcelona could be significant, also Athens, Greece, you could be traveling to either of these places. Um, also, these songs could be significant. I was hearing somebody might knock at your door. It could be a Capricorn, Aries, or a Cancer. Also, one, you could be a gamer, but I'm seeing a situation, so... I heard this random song, it's called Like a Prayer by Madonna, and it's like version seven, right? When I got locked out, one of my most recent decks that I got, there's we kept talking about these two doors and some readings like the last couple months, right? But it had that card that I had been seeing in it, and immediately I saw that card, so it's the number seven as well. I feel like over the next seven days, maybe you prayed for something to come together or to kind of be, I'm hearing mediated. And like a prayer, it's like how you go from being locked out, something's just like magically fixed for you, magically healed for you. So just look out. I'm gonna link those songs. I'm gonna link all the readings below. Yeah, Ace of Mirrors. Hmm, interesting. I'm also hearing like see your life into being um uh, moving forward you could be born in 1999 here's something about rebox i'm seeing the baby rebox like we box some of you do music you may live on the east coast also don't chase anything let things come to you for some of you also i was seeing a situation like standing outside those doors once again um it could be a thing where say somebody likes the same sex but it's not welcomed in their religion you could be deciding like am i going to choose my path for me or am i going to like continue to do what's best for everybody else so it could be a thing of sexuality as well just take it how it resonates it's obviously going to be different for all of you here's some readings that may tie into what you're dealing with if you're dealing with the sagittarius there's a reading called you planted seeds and they're growing fast also bambi bites back will be for you aquarius dynamic duo Virgo, money is working for you, and also big boy diamonds if you're dealing with the Virgo energy. Capricorn, the switch flips. So that person who you run into before 7.45 um, p.m., like if you're watching this later than 7.45, obviously the next day, but before the next 7.45 p.m., watch that Capricorn reading. The switch has been flipped so you can be prepared for whatever this is. I haven't seen it yet, but it may be useful to you. And then Gemini, um, a new contract, but you can find all of those in the description box below, okay? hearing charlie um anything else 
There was one more deck that I wanted to grab. Maybe two more decks and then we'll get into it. I'm also seeing like an owl having like a 360 degree view of something. Mm. There is more in my camera roll that I feel like I have to show you guys. Um, okay, so what I did after I got locked out, I was just so appalled because I had a, I knew this was gonna come. I knew this was gonna come soon because I had a dream about it. So I've been being extra cautious. They literally just got me because I was distracted, you know? But I went in my notes to see if I could find the dream, find what day there was like anything pertaining to being locked out, anything pertaining to like keys. So there were three different days and they all landed on the 22nd and the 23rd. So I'm gonna read you off like the clues that I have from each of these days because they may tie into what's coming for you. So on June 23rd, uh, 2023, first things first, the readings that I have in the TLC shirt, I know one is an Aquarius reading called your 17 again. The other one, I'm not sure what it is, but it's next to that one, um, but I'll link it below. Also, I was hearing pretty poppy and that makes me think of that Metro energy like, either somebody that felt excluded because they're always getting picked on for caring about their appearance more than like the average guy but there's like no difference between the two of them you know or somebody that like something like that um something about four doctors also i was hearing double ops so maybe your opposition has doubled hopefully not 90% of an apartment complex, you may find out like 90% of an apartment complex is like vacant, maybe it's Airbnb or something like that. I'm also getting this Polaris card, which is in this deck, but it's all about somebody giving somebody else the evil eye. I feel like whatever that opposition is, whatever that evil eye is, it's being cleared out for you. Yeah. Also, you have Legacy, which is a deck. You, be, you could be renting something in Chicago or Oregon. Some of you, I have fat loss here. Some of you may have noticed like a decrease in your overall like fat. Elvis is here as well. I feel like you're about to open the vault to fun. Also the name Willie could be signif significant or Nelson. Also they chose the wrong place. That could be you or somebody else. I was hearing the name Penelope. Texting frantically about a locked door or missing keys and then Mississippi. Okay, so that's June 23rd, 2023. You could go check out what was significant for you on that day. Another one I have is May 22nd of this year as well. Your inner truth is under lock and key. Um, somebody hit their head, they have to go to a hospital. You could have a cream colored Jeep. Also, something about T Pain. You may miss a concert or a show. You may be watching videos or something online. Um, there was a reading, yeah, I remember what these are from. There was a reading where I was like, if you told your nephew that you were gonna take them somewhere and then you don't take them, I see them being like shady about that. That could be significant now. Also something about Gabriel, the name Gabriel, also midnight. Don't drive sleepy, you're gonna fall asleep at a light. You may change something about yourself or maybe you lost a lot of weight and somebody doesn't recognize you like they're surprised to see you also something about taco tuesday and the name garcia okay and then the last one is from december 23rd of um 2022 and it was of a dream that i had so it was a dream of my brother eric that he i don't remember the dream like right now but i wrote it down obviously but i guess my brother went to jail <laughs> Uh, he's an Aries. Um, also, I was like pissed because my mom rearranged all my furniture. There was no TV in my room, which isn't something that's like new to me. I usually don't keep a TV in my room. Also, I went to some like new skating and bowling place. Um, something about lesbian energy. There was like a girl hitting on me and I was like, sorry, I love men. <laughs> um, I lost my purse and keys. That's how it's relevant. And then I found it with um, some Mexican guys and girls who invited me to the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know. And then I had a dream where I was drowning and my nails were black. So I guess the last thing I saw was like my black nails, which made me laugh. Let me grab those decks that were mentioned. We'll utilize those and then we'll jump in. We'll jump right on in.
Let's see. Oh, there might be a couple more messages for you in my book as well. Let me, oh, let me grab this one too. Oh, we're just doing two readings, I guess. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll split this into two different readings. So I feel like we're reading for two sets of Leos. And I thought something was sus because we didn't have much channel messages. They just wanted you to refer back to your 824-2021 reading and your um, pirate reading. Yeah. Okay. The hush that fell off. So I'm going to shut the fuck up. And just make sure we got everything. Okay. Let's get into it. Or maybe they just want me to use this with this group. And on the bottom of the deck, they're like, hell yeah, you're good. So let's go. Let's see. Let's crack a lock in. I've never said that in my life. <clears throat> okay. Did we get all the messages? Because I don't remember saying... I was getting something about like a real estate agency. You may own a real estate agency or like 90%. You may like something like that. Um, okay. I'm gonna be doing this ahead of time, but just today, I just have a lot going on. So any extra messages for you? So for some of you guys, you need to lighten up. You could be taking a trip. You could be finding out information that you shouldn't know. It could be about your father. For females, you could be sad over a Scorpio masculine energy. Somebody could have kept you in some type of illusion, but I see an Aquarius coming to your rescue. um stagnancy is coming to an abrupt halt you're moving into justice expect things to go right yeah something about a blue-eyed aries female could be significant oh also um if your name starts with an e i was seeing a ladder and i was seeing the wheel of fortune turning you might be married to a taurus or maybe your person's name could start with an E. Anything else? That's all for now. I'll just keep it open. Um, okay. I'm hearing she's back. I'm seeing the poultry guys. You have the Empress on the bottom of the deck here. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra here or somebody that takes on this, <laughs> I almost said industry, but energy. So you have wonder, you could be wondering about somebody. It could be a Libra or a Taurus. I definitely feel like this is you. The sunflowers make me think of your energy. I'm also getting like the she's back energy. Like I'm seeing Houdini, like somebody disappear in smoke and I'm seeing you wonder like, where did they go? So somebody may ghost you often if you're dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. This could be a friend of yours or this could be a lover. This could be same sex relationship as well. Shuffle for Leo. Wow, for some of you, it's like you're determined to try to understand something here. If you look at her necklace, she has a necklace of an eagle. Maybe somebody's very private about something, this empress, but I feel like you're deter you're like determined to understand, you're determined to know more. Even I'm looking at the eyes, you see how this right eye or just left, depending on what perspective you're looking at it. It's kind of like looking in a different direction than the other eye. Look. I'm seeing a situation where it's like, I see you 
someone talking to you and you're trying to keep your attention focus on them but you're listening or trying to pay attention to something else at the same time but i'm also seeing where it's like you're listening to somebody and that eye going in a different direction it's like you're trying to look in between the corners of the crevices of what they're saying to you so let's see let's get detail shuffle for leo Yeah, look, it's like every word that they're saying, I see it's like you're going, <laughs> you see how it's like you're going in spirals, like every single syllable, every single word, it's like you're trying to like depict or understand it. Um, some of you are dealing with a cancer here. Yeah, but ooh, okay. I understand now. So going back to the beginning, your channel messages. So moving forward, I feel like in the next, hold on, it's been eight, the next three days or so, whatever somebody has been keeping to themselves, there's that camp camel again, and you see how they're covering the sun here. And whatever um, you've been wondering about, I feel like something divine is going to take place. Like I said, that run in to where you're going to get the information that you're looking for. And I feel like this is going to be happening by the 21st, like you're going to be able to understand something. You see how it's like she's reading the scrolls here. She's reading the ancient text. Let me see who you're dealing with. Yeah, your perception is going to change on a situation. Tower here. You have forgiveness, Leo energy, and the world. Number 21. So just wait until the 21st and you'll see. You have six of cups and forgiveness here. This is something recycling from a, from the past. I'm hearing she's back. Once again, 222 two, two right there. So let's see. Let's move forward. Yeah. Keep your cool on top right here. Could definitely be a Libra and keep your fights short. Also, the pirates are coming through the portal. Air sign energy. You know, pirates always have swords. All twos right there. Mm. Hot. Shuff. Ooh, the Capricorn reading, the real tea, it's not them, it's you. That could be significant for a new perspective on something. Shuffle for Leo. Yeah. Okay. You have embraced change and don't let your ego get in the way. Let's move forward into your reading. Ooh, for some of you, yeah. Uh, the first card, keep your cool. On the bottom of the deck, you have petrified force. Like I see you bumping into somebody and you're like, what? Maybe something didn't end on a good note here, but tower. I just feel like you need to be prepared. Five of wands and the king of pentacles. Now for some of you, Hopefully not, because there's no reason why you should ever fear your counterpart. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, masculine energy. This better be your father, you know, because if not that, I don't see why anybody would have you petrified. And if that's the case, then you need to run out of that situation ASAP. It said... How the fuck did that just happen? Was it sliding? The front, of, it's a sketchbook. The front of this book says sketch. Did somebody sketch here? It says Denali. So that makes me think of like India. The high one. Maybe somebody's like all high and mighty. Wow, wait. And I see this petrified energy. Could be dealing with an Aries as well. It says trees that lived 225 million years ago. 225 is an Aries reading. That's like the time on it. And it's all about reconciliation. So yeah, there's that. Let me see. Shuffle for Leo. 
feel like something's gonna be okay yeah gateway the arch here something's gonna be victorious for sure something is um can sway up to 18 inches in a strong hurricane so i feel like whatever this dynamic is there's a lot of history here 225 million years it said you know so it's like at the end of the day no matter how high somebody has to go to get over something whether that's your side of the spectrum their side of the spectrum i do see something coming to a close you have um arizona mount rushmore any of these places could be significant to you st louis and then the nine of cups yeah zion national park but mount zion that's all about you kind of like reaching the peak also bryce canyon the name bryce came out in the libra reading that we just did so definitely go check that out but yeah judgment energy here for you so you're on your journey to the door as well but I keep, it keeps going back and forth to this, like, there's something about sexuality here. I'm looking at this door. You see how there's, like, a man on the bathroom? For some of you, you could be, like, either if you're a feminine watching this, you could be on the journey to discovering how to embrace your inner masculine energy. If you're a man, you could be discovering, like, I'm hearing, like, meow, meow, versus, like, roar, like a real lion. So... <laughs> So it's like you could be finding your inner roar, if you will. Shuffle for Leo. You look! Roar! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on a second. Definitely, you guys, be careful driving because now I'm seeing this is like somebody yawning. If you drive while you're tired, um, it won't be good. You have disasters here as well. So just an extra uh, warning for that. Let me see last messages for this side and then we'll, we're going to get into the other side. So about the next um, six days for you and Libra had that same thing. So um 24th through the 26th you got the gateway you got the portal right here earth star activation so it's like you've mastered your fire energy i feel like you're on your way to activating your earth side your masculine side your grounding you know pentacle nature yeah anchoring grounded action isis energy on the bottom of the deck and it's so interesting because i have another deck with a red door on it with an anchor on the door let me see something knew it the pirates are coming through the motherfucking portal should we pull from this real quick we'll put this in the next part <sighs> anything else for leo from here yeah so you have stellar gateway activation infinite 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 potential manifestation vortex third eye activation brow chakra inner vision clear seeing some of you could be getting like something done to your eyebrows um arcturian light codes evolutionary downloads recalling power and future thinking for some of you you could be into the makeup industry i'm seeing the people who do brow art um i think it's like brow tinting or something or like the brow eye what is it like tattoo permanent tattoo you may be trying to learn this or master this but okay let's move forward to leo part two let me just pull one more from the stick yeah the gift of connection is coming towards you and the awakening some of you could be dealing with a sag or an aries as well Also, that dream of my brother in jail, I feel like that also kind of symbolizes, um, you may have like an estranged relationship with your brother, like you may, 
my brother's chill, but <laughs> he's an Aries. He's very just like, what you see is what you get. But like that dynamic, you know, being locked in. Let me grab one more deck. I swear, I swear we're gonna get to the bottom of this. So I'm seeing the tower card in this one. Whatever, like I said, whatever it is that you don't know right now, you'll understand by the 21st, for sure. That confirms that right there. Anything else for Leo? You have Aries energy, views of the ego. For some of you, that locked door could be like a way of thinking, you know, if the ego has been too strong in a certain situation, you removing that side of it, that complex and seeing things clearly, I feel like that could be symbolic of getting into that door as well. So it'll be different for all of you. Just take it how it resonates, but you'll know soon, three more days. Okay, um, moving forward to Leo part two. I want to keep using this here. I can keep using this. We didn't really use it. Okay. I was hearing in my mind Memento Mori, the devil's on the bottom of the deck right there. Remember, you must die. So death to the ego. Ego death could be significant. You may be listening to that. It's like in order for you to get to this next part of your life here or this next portal, this next door, you got to surrender the ego because with the anchor on top of the door, that's what's keeping you heavy. That's what's keeping you like stationary. You know, that's what's keeping you stuck in a certain cycle. But it's time for that to end. So three, two, one here. Here, three, two, one. Girls want to have fun. Like if you want to have more fun, you got to there's something that's got to give and i feel like it's just the ego and we all have to do it you know no one no one's exempt from that everybody has their time some people learn very early some people learn you know about karma sooner than others and lessons sooner than but everybody has their very specific and personal timing so that's why you can never judge another person Everybody sins differently, you know? <clears throat> All right, so what's going on here? Okay. It's more of that like feeling like someone's keeping things from you, but I feel like this is more so when it comes to help, health, healing, recovery, you know, maybe it's like an energy thing. Because with the Queen of Pentacles, that feels very grandmotherly to me. And you're showing up here as the Nine of Wands. So it's almost like neglect of like emotional attention, neglect of like, I don't know, like a motherly hug. This could be an estranged relationship that you have with your mother, maybe. That could be the root of the ego that, you know, you're getting to the bottom of and it may come down to that. It's like when you get to that ninth wand, when you do all the shadow work and you're at that ninth wand approaching the 10th to really break everything down, you may see that when you get to like the door of that 10th wand, it's the queen of pentacles there. So you may want to look at that relationship here yeah i feel like there's definitely something that you need to or something that you need to move on from mentally this could just be like a way that you're thinking about something a way that you're considering something you know shuffle for leo <clears throat> i'm hearing stacy i'm hearing the name stacy Ooh, you have the wheel of fortune expect the unexpected okay cheat code for you maintain compassion always understand like you never know somebody else's story as long as you're able to do that and hold a level of empathy you can expect your karma to go i'm hearing like wonderfully 
throughout the rest of the year starting in october but as long as you maintain it's like you see how he's riding on the seahorse right here that's always compassion to me right so that's your first tip i'm hearing tip of the day some of you you may do this like on tiktok or something tip of the day or daily message daily reminders this may be something that you want to start as long as it's coming from a place of compassion, not the ego, then I feel like you have the green light. Let me see, shuffle for Leo, anything else? Yeah, it's like you're protected, you just gotta maintain that compassion there, okay? So moving forward. I hear someone yelling. Something about tonight? Hold on one second. Hmm. Where are my things? Oh yeah, I forgot that whole thing happened. Crazy. Okay, let me see something. Oh wow, it's 1836. Isn't that like all nines right there? Yeah, let me see something real quick. For some of you guys, that ca that Capricorn that you run into might be an ex. And I'm saying it's like, if you're single, if you're single, you know, and like whatever, and this is something that's like in alignment with you now that Mercury is direct, 36, 36, commitment right there. I see it's like after this, whatever this is i see something ending with like a kiss here like i see the metamorphosis happening real fast i'm just saying that just maintain your compassion yeah because look it's like right now this is your energy they're gonna show you something in a dream for some of you so pay attention to that. Also, you may want to watch the last Taurus reading. Yeah, review. Also review the past, review the events that have transpired like leading up to this point. What could be done differently? What should stay the same? You know, all those things I feel like are significant now, but at the base of it all, at the core of it all, your key, keyword, code word, safe word, whatever is compassion. Secret code, all of that, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, okay. Also, they want you, it says review and uh, weaver of words, review the way that you communicate to people as well. Like some of you, I'm hearing tough tongue. If you have a tough tongue with people and that's your tone, understand that like, you know, that's going to keep you out of this door as well. Like there's so many factors and I feel like just like we like to judge other people and say other people's fault here and there. How do you contribute to that? What's your energy when it comes to that? You know, how do you approach people? How do you communicate with people? And then how do you expect them to communicate back with you? So all of that kind of needs to be considered at this point. So the overall, I feel like the overall theme for you guys, like the second part of Leo's is just like maintaining do to others what I want done to myself. Treat others as I want done to myself. How do I communicate? What's my tone? You know, can it be taken the wrong way sometimes? Is that something that hinders me? All of those factors right now need to be looked at. Yeah. Because I'm seeing a situation where it's like if you go through that door, do the wrong thing, say the wrong thing, you get shut right the fuck back out. And after that, it's it's that's it, you know? So it's like you don't want to be on that side of the spectrum. For some of you, this is like a job or an organization. This is about etiquette. Yeah, success here. It's like if you're going to get hired at somewhere real fancy, you can't go in there talking all kinds of ways, using any kind of language, looking any kind of way. You know, you have to upkeep the etiquette or else you they have to maintain a certain level of standard. And if you can't uphold that, upkeep that, you get kicked out. And it's OK. Just find something that's in alignment with you. So if this is your standard, if this is what you want, if this is the door you've been praying to go towards, you also have to do your part, you know. So that's what it's all about for you. Anything else for Leo?
Ooh, the King of Wands and the Lovers. Yeah, for a lot of you, this is about love. You're dealing with the Gemini. Or your twin. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, strength. Leo energy. You have Papa Legba here and you have the visionary. Yeah, I feel like you're dealing with a very, 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 very different type of person. I feel like this person takes on um, fire energy and earth energy, but they're very like eccentric as well. Like if this is an earth sign, for an earth sign, this person's extremely eccentric. Look at him. They only have heavy Aries, heavy water. Something about their ancestry, something runs in their family. Like when you meet them, if you don't know them yet, like they're gonna tell you, yeah, my grandfather did this and my great grandfather did that and I do this. And yeah, some things like carry down, pop, pop a leg for there. Hearing African ancestry. Um, anything else? Or I'm seeing like New Orleans as well, French. chariot you'll see something's gonna be so fucking easy you have number 18 right here like it's hidden from you right now but just know you're about to be moving forward within a week's time span things are about to change for you okay just change the way that you're approaching other situations so that you can continue to be like in alignment with this frequency you know spirit doesn't want to have to put you in that cage or close the door or do any of those things but it's like they will in order to protect you when you're not ready yet you know so just prove that you're ready and then you're good so let's see the devil on the bottom of the deck ace of swords here remember you must die And then you get rebirth again the shaman here um for some of you you may need to prepare yeah the sun and the ace of swords literally tomorrow i see you having to make an abrupt decision all of a sudden it's like if you're indecisive about something you better get decisive very very quickly as a matter of fact let's speed this up because i feel like this needs to be up sooner than later shuffle for leo energy mm -hmm. commitment energy is still here and you, you have water surrender and remember the end of that dream where i was like i was drowning but my nails were black and it's so interesting because it's the color i was gonna get next i don't ever tell my colors but i'll let you guys in on a secret whatever god bless and then the whole world has black nails <laughs> Anyway, moving forward. Anything else for Leo here before we get out of here? I feel like also over the next six days, there's parts of yourself that maybe you lost and you're going to be led back to those things. So maybe like if you used to take certain classes, people that you did those classes with, you may run into, you know, or like you may come across certain opportunities to get back into hobbies that maybe you left or, you know, you just kind of like lost along the way. So be on the lookout for that. But all those things are meant to like further connect you, help you tap back into that masculine energy, that yin yang, that balance here. Anything else for Leo? The sun on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, next three days for you. Next three days, eight of wands here. Things are moving so fast. I also feel like the illusion of things not working out is literally nothing more than an illusion here. Ace of wands maybe it's like you've been going you've been trying to go through different paths or you've been trying to exert yourself too much instead of just like sitting back and listening for direction on when to go how to go so because you've been doing so much and those things not working out because they're not in alignment with you it's been giving you the illusion that things aren't working right 
But in actuality, it's like there's not all those spirals. Remember that nine of wands that we saw with all the spirals there? There's only one spiral. There's only one path. There's only one certain way for you to get to where you need to go to, you know? forget everything else there's one path for you so keep that in mind and don't let you exerting energy and shit that spirit never told you to do and that not working out don't let that discourage you just like learn to start asking permission first i'm hearing you're like you know kind of like talking with your guides before acting on impulse and i feel like that's where that pinnacle energy is about to come in for you instead of you you know going off that way you're going to start to really kind of sit back and be more long term about the decisions that you make and that's going to be amazing for you the star that's like the missing piece so god bless leo i think that's all i have for you just one more one more Okay, one last thing. Now, for some of you, I see a change happening for you in an uncomfortable way, right? So it's like before things level out, they may be a bit uncomfortable. And they're showing me a scenario where it's like you grow up by example or you change by some type of example and what i'm seeing is like say you get hired at a new job right and your old job used to work at let's say rainbow okay now you're working at like the viceroy right so it's like the things you and your coworker used to talk about at rainbow aren't going to be in alignment with what you talked about at the viceroy right so i'm seeing it's like i'm seeing people in like a lunch room or like a break room or something like that and i see it's like you're trying to spark up a conversation and everybody kind of like looks at you a certain way or like oh we don't like talk about stuff like that something like that i feel like you're gonna grow by example you're gonna grow by your ex your environment like that's gonna be key your environment is gonna be key because i feel like you're just gonna morph into like water you're gonna morph into what you're around and not in an unhealthy way but in a way where it's like them kind of unintentionally taking you under their wing there's one more thing that i feel like i was supposed to show you guys yeah there is so actually two more things i was mentioning in the libra reading this book and i was telling them like their new tribe similar to you but for them their new tribe they're like guns out bow and arrow out you know it's more so of like a defensive we have to protect this yours is more so like intellectual you gotta rise to the occasion you know the leo reading there's levels to this shit so that's where you and libra differ i feel like libra's people are all like on literal guard like guns pointed to the side metaphorically or literally doesn't matter but i didn't get to read out the part and i ended up finding it in the book that i was talking about so um they told me to read it here so it says so pretty much because i you have to go to the libra reading to understand the main character she has wings right she and the other girl that she's with they're like special kids and they're in a room they're in a city full of like normal people but they're like special it's the maximum ride book series there's like 13 books 12 books something like that but this is the one where it's like her daughter and i didn't piece it together at first but in libra reading i was talking about an heirloom and going into a position so this kind of takes on that energy but anyway her and this girl they were searching for i think like a pet or something they ended up in this for forest and they ran into these other people and these people were trying to harm them you know they were like a different species but because they were of the same species they were like don't worry about it they're one of us so they just want me to read that one page okay so it says i look down to see an iridescent hand reaching up from the water creeping its way toward her ankle so the people where they are in the cave and shit they're like um kind of like hybrid like they're reptile they're some of them live in the water some of them live on land but they're all types of people what happened was they were experiments that got flushed down like the drain so they ended up morphing with like 
things that were in the drain and then they became they ended up in the sewer the swamp underneath and like that's how they ended up having a whole habitat there and that's why nobody knows they're there because they flushed them down the drain thinking that that just killed them so that's how they ended up being hybrids they weren't supposed to be like that anyway so there's somebody like coming in the water that grabbed the little girl's ankle so the main character she's like no i shout shoving the girl behind me my wings spring out reflexively so she like her impulse is like fight or flight energy she literally like flight and like grab the girl to get them out of danger that's how they realized that she had wings okay and preparing for flight and sending sprays of water across the cavern a face looks up at me frozen underwater eyes wide and blinking my wings reflected back on either side of it down everybody put your weapons down um it's the chameleon's voice i turn to him again I pump my wings once, twice, and elevate out of its reach, but my wings are wet and heavy and I can't keep us aloft for long, but it looks like I don't have to. All along the perimeter of the cavern, the reptilian creatures are putting their guns down, raising their arms to show me empty hands. It's okay, the chameleon says, edging closer to the bank. Eyes focus on mine, his skin changing with the rock patterns. We're not gonna hurt you, you are one of us. Meaning like, you are one of like the mystical people. She's not exactly them, but she's all she has wings herself. You know, she has a mission that's in alignment with them or they come from the same school, the same lab, whatever. So they wanted to read that. Um, so I do feel like these new people that you're about to be around, they're helping you elevate in some way. Keep that in mind. Also look out for love here with that Capricorn energy. But that's all I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys next time. Um, look out for that information tomorrow. It's going to be a shocker. I'm hearing, yeah, Ten of Swords. <laughs> uh, but Ace of Cups after that. The Gift of Joy. So, goodbye. God bless. <laughs>